collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. back to my channel this is adana also known as the afro scene today i'm reading for the beautiful and handsome collective hey collective hey y'all oh wait hold up <laughs> flowers, flowers, flowers. don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or to shop in my store all the information is in the description box below all right so i changed my tapestry i don't like it mm -mm, i don't like this so i'm gonna be going back to my old one because i was like this is my first time recording with it and it just don't pop like my other one so this is gonna come down <laughs> all right let's see turn backwards e <laughs> evading <laughs> shit <laughs> well what they evading all right i heard use the kipper first what they evading evading well the gift <laughs> a mature woman is evading the community about a official person who's privileged a privileged lady Either privileged lady or privileged man okay take a high resonance but I'm just going by what's on the cards okay but there is an older woman here that is evading the community because of this official person. So the community is seeing that this person is official. And the community is going against the immature or older woman, basically. Wow. Well, yeah, see? <laughs> high honor. The mature woman is not of high honor here. And everyone sees that. Wow, and it's a huge message of concern. Huge message of concern. So we have child here and we also have adjudication. I'm hearing it in a lot of ways when it comes to this in regards to child adjudication. I feel like like you, this has been your childhood or you've been going through some very hard, tumultuous experiences throughout your childhood and it's like you're finally getting justice that that's one way another way is that you could be in court could be custody court okay that's going to be in your favor um hmm. well why is this um let's do that why is this why is a why is a mature woman evading um the community in regards to this person or the collective? A relationship. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. They're evading, this immature older woman is evading the community 
because of the lies that they told about you in regards to uh connection it don't have to be lovers it could be platonic as well too so it could be intimate or platonic connections but the community is um really seeing this person's true colors and they don't like it they don't like it at all they're shocked they're appalled They're asking all these questions like, what would made you do something like this? Like, why would you do something like that in that manner? A lot of people are disgusted with this person, with this individual. A lot of people, they like turn their backs on them. They just, they find them repulsive. They're very repulsed by their actions. Yeah, they're very repulsed by their actions here. Yeah, dodgy neighbors. Oh, and this is my from my new deck. Thank you guys. Okay. Dodgy neighbors here. No one to walk away and no one to run. And yeah, they're running away from this, this person. The neighbors are like running away from this person here. Communicating using the four clears. The universe is sending you a never ending stream of messages to help you. So collective spirit wants you to tap into your clears more. Okay. Some of you guys might be afraid. That if you tap into it, something bad is going to happen to you. That is incorrect. All you're doing is just activating your gifts and just making it expand, making it bigger, making it stronger, okay? So whoever ta taught you that as a child or adolescent or a teen, it, that was false. <laughs> I use my intuition every day and nothing negative has happened to me. So, and not staying on that. <laughs> right? Okay. All right, let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Connect more with spirit, okay? The Black Library, don't believe everything that you read. <laughs> and in this instance here, hmm. So I look at a read, a read is a form of information and says the black library so to me a library is open right meaning it's open to the public anyone can go as long as you have your you know follow the rules or you have your little id to get your card and stuff like that right it's out in the open everyone can see it it's visible but with this card here it says the black library which tells me that this is information that was hidden that was in the dark um hmm Hidden information in regards to the collective that the immature uh, woman did not want, want others to see you as. So they were painting this picture publicly, right? Let's think of this as a library information read, right? And they were publicly reading you or trying to read you or trying to inform, you know, this library, and just me speaking figuratively here, this library environment of individuals here, they're trying to get them to read you in a certain way or to be informed about you in a certain way. But they were doing this behind the scenes here in the dark so that others, so that you of course won't know what's going on and then others won't know the real truth as to why they were doing what they were doing here. So when this card popped up, don't believe everything that you read or more so here. Um, this immature woman here was giving false information in the dark, trying to keep it behind the scenes and trying to make sure that they did not get caught. <laughs> Y'all do all that dumb shit. <laughs> Weird, but whatever. All right, what else, Spirit? All right, um, so we have rebuild your life. Leaving a relationship can be devastating. Attract the love that you deserve, and that's in reverse. Um, they did not want you to rebuild your life. They wanted you to just, just kind of take anything and everything that they were doing to you. Um, but Spirit wants you to know that you are awesome, like the S is on your chest for a reason, because you're super awesome. And it's time for you to acknowledge your achievements, whether it's big and small, okay? Um, it's so funny how these two cards came out. Like I said, this was in reverse. So it's um 
rebuild your life, but they didn't want you to rebuild your life because they don't want you to know just how awesome you are. <clears throat> Which goes back to that black library card. I just love that card. It's just, I love everything about that card. It's my first time ever seeing it, but um, yeah, it just gives me like very, like if, even if you're looking at the, 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 the cards, right? Do you see the darkness? It within between the, the the book so you may visibly see the person like this is the exterior right because when you here's the saying don't judge a book by its cover okay figuratively physically however right but if you're looking at the book here you see that the outside of the book can be seen by others it's visible to others right to other sites but if you look closely within, it's not. And they try to keep that hidden. So they try to create or narrate or create stories or false novels about you within this library or the identity of you, which is this book here. They try to keep you hidden from others or they try to keep the, the real information hidden from others. They wanted you to be painted as such in a very negative way to other people, but keep all of the important information that's really who, really who you truly are, they wanted to keep that to themselves. They didn't want anyone to know about you, which is weird because it's like, how many people in this world, 13 billion people? Why am I upset over 10 people that don't like me or 20 people if that? <laughs> Shit, it could be a thousand people. I still wouldn't care. There are 13 billion, I could be exaggerating. But there's a lot of people in this world. Why am I worrying about a small cluster of people that don't give a fuck about me? Who cares? I don't give a fuck. I don't like you. Okay, well, what else you want me to do? Well, what the fuck you want me to do about it? I don't give a fuck. And that it makes them even upset, more upset too, because you don't give a fuck. Well, what, why should I give a fuck about someone that don't give a fuck about me, but then be upset at the same reason as to why take that back because they got me confused they're upset because you don't give a fuck why would you give a fuck about somebody that don't give a fuck about you why <laughs> okay you don't like me okay cool all right well shit i don't know what else to tell you i'm out i'm not gonna entertain the energy i'm not gonna entertain you know what i mean i'm just gonna keep going about my day but people is crazy I just hope I was able to break this down thoroughly. Like, spirit keep pulling me back to this, this one card here, man. Because it's so funny. Here's another thing that I'm picking up. You see all that color in the back? Like, that's you. You're vibrant. Uh, you could be outgoing. You could be uh, introverted. However, whatever, right? But just you here is just so vibrant. And within as well, too, is very vibrant. But they did not want people to know that about you. At all. They didn't want nobody to know that about you. It's weird. It's still weird because it's like they're trying to get a group of people to not like you. Okay, well, I, a group of fucking dusties? Like, where I can move to another place and I can make my own friends. You know what I mean? Or I can make my own community of whatever, however, whatever if that makes sense. Friends, family, connections. Like, people think, like, when they go through something, or more so, I'll put it this way, people think that when someone does something to them, it's the end-all, be-all. Only if you want it to be. That's up to you. <laughs> that's up to you, but I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it. Sometimes you gotta go through those painful experiences to receive the experience, to gain the experience. Or, in some cases, more spiritual cases here. It could be part of your soul contract, you know? So everyone's soul contract is different. But, I mean, there are many different reasons why. But those are just two of many. Now we have water has me memory, feeling bad about yourself. Everything made of water is affected by thoughts directed at it. Water has memory. And that was in reverse. So they were trying to get you to not remember what happened from the past. Um, you may have had head trauma as well um they wanted to kind of like erase your memory or wipe your memory clear so what they'll do is like if you were to let's just say 
when you were on speaking terms, you were to had a conversation with someone or whatever, however, um, they would tend to gaslight you. Oh, that didn't happen. What are you talking about? And that kind of way to make you feel like you're losing your mind and you're not. They did that a lot because they did not want you to remember what they have done to you here. And then we have feeling bad about yourself. Spend time with people who are kind to you. Feeling bad about yourself was also in reverse. Um, they don't feel bad about you. They feel bad about getting caught. So. Because they're evading the community. I mean, if you know you didn't do anything wrong, why would you evade a community? For what? I ain't do nothing wrong, so what I'm running for? You see what I mean? You see how you can just kind of pick sense out of nonsense? Why the hell would I be running from something that I did not do? I ain't do nothing, so I ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm not losing no sleep. I'm not losing no good eats. I'm not, I'm not losing nothing because I didn't do it. <laughs> so why be guilty of something that I did not do? It just doesn't make sense. But yet they're running from the community. Make that make sense. You didn't do it, but yet you're running. Hmm. Okay. Whatever you say, partner. Whatever you say, partner. Technology. Your angels can see that you need a break from technology. Some of you guys need to go out. Go to the spa, get your hair done, get your nails done, go to the park, go to an indoor park, ward park, something. If you can't go outside, take a walk, you know, um, improvise. There's, go to Pinterest and find ways to do free things to relax your mind or something. Be, be innovative or creative or, yeah. <laughs> but someone needs a break. You on technology a lot. You can be watching a lot of TV. You've been making a lot of promises to yourself that you're going to do better. And then when it, when it comes time for you to do better, it's always some excuse as to why you can't do and you can't do what you said you was going to do in regards to you getting better at that. So that's something that someone has to fix here. You say you're going to do it, do it. Okay. Like be consistent with your, with your, what you're saying to self. We have grief and sadness, divine timing. So that's in reverse. Both of them was in reverse here. Divine timing and grief and sadness. Hmm. Okay, so it's like you're, there's no more time or your time is up in regards to um, grief and sadness. So it's like you're not experiencing that or you're soon to not experience that. So they thought they thought it was cool to petition the universe to give you grief and sadness. I mean, they tried so many things, lower energies, they tried the universe, they tried angels, they, they tried they tried everything, everything possible, everything possible. They didn't just work with darker energies. They attempted to work with light, high, higher light beings and they were like, what the fuck are you doing here? I have to be raw and honest in this part here because they realized that all the work that they've done on the darker side, they even attempted to work with the underworld energies, water energies, fire energies. When I say everything they really tried, and they also tried to work with higher, lighter beings here, which doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. So they were working with these or attempting to work with these higher beings to punish you. Punish you for what? Like, it, what, are, what is the collector being punished for? I, I, I'm still trying to figure that out. For being great? <laughs> How you going to punish somebody for being great? <laughs> it just don't make sense to me. I'm just saying. It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, I'm going to punish you because you're great. Well... Okay, whatever. Whatever, boo. Whatever, boo, but. <laughs> whatever, chief. <clears throat> Individuality. Yeah. <laughs> they summoned higher beings, light beings, and the light beings saw the information coming up. And they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you that's the energy 
what the fuck are you doing? Why are you even summoning us? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, there's, a, there's really levels to stupidity here. It really is. You're trying to attempt. Hear this well, Collective. <laughs> the karmics were trying to attempt it to work with a higher source or a light being. A higher dimensional being <laughs> to get you in trouble. What 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 is this? <laughs> For you just being your individualistic self. So this makes sense in regards to the divine timing <laughs> and um the grief and sadness. Divine timing is in reverse. The divine is like the collective didn't do anything, you know? So there will be no grief and sadness from our end. <laughs> they're going to punish you for being an indiv uh, individual like <laughs> some weird shit bruh for being a fucking individual that's some weird ass shit because you're not following them you're not following the norm solitude <laughs> Your home is your safe spot. Your home is your home. Your home is your, you know, it's your everything. That's your home. You love your home. And you honor and you cherish your home as such. It's a, it's a sanctuary that you feel is near and dear to you, you know. It's, it's a part of your peace. And it helps you to stay in your individual individuality when you are in solitude. It helps you to stay here. So actually these two are needed or this is needed for you to be here or to continue to stay here. And they don't like it. So this is why they went and they summoned a higher, a higher being. They realized, oh my God. They work with the lower energies first, try to hurt you, harm you, and stuff like that. They realize it's not working. Now they're trying to flip the script and they're trying to work with higher beings. Who Should we tell them or should we just let them find out? <laughs> Who going to tell them? <laughs> oh my goodness. They ain't working with a higher being to, to help themselves or to fix themselves or to heal themselves. No, they're summoning higher beings to, number one, disqualify you, I'm hearing, disqualify. And then number two, to like reprimand you. Reprimand, I like, I don't, reprimand how? Like, what do you mean reprimand? What do you mean? I know what the definition mean. I'm just asking rhetorically by the karmics here or to the karmics here. What do you mean by that statement? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Whatever. That just doesn't make sense. I'm so sick of these dusties. Attachment is in reverse. But I'm going to show you the picture upright so you can see what it was in reverse. You have no attachments to anyone. And they hate that too. They hate that you get individualistic. So you in solitude or you love to be by yourself. You encourage being in solitude. You love it. You got no problem with that. And then uh, attachment was in reverse. There's no attachment. You're not attached to anything or anything or anyone. And they don't like that either. Or this immature woman didn't like the fact that you were no longer attached to her. So she tried to destroy all your connections here because... When once you left left her behind, she felt very disrespected. Bitch, please, fuck yeah. And she took it upon herself to try to attempt or did sabotage some of your connections here. I'll tell that slimy bitch, thank you, because all she did was clear out the the debris, the trash for you. So thanks, boo. <laughs> All right, we have sexy time. That's in reverse. Sexy time is in reverse. I just want to show you upright. Oh, okay, so you could be celibate. I'm like, what? <laughs> All right, so you could be celibate. 
it could be for 36 months, 36 days, 36 hours, 36 years, okay? Somewhere in there, somebody could be age 36. Somebody's period finally started today. I know they like, shh, like that. Somebody's like real happy their period started today. I'm hungry. I made some bacon. I'm gonna go eat me some of that with some veggies. We got shadow work. Okay, so somebody needs to do shadow work around sex. Somebody is like a sex fiend or they just eat, sleep, and breathe sex. So somebody needs to do a lot of shadow work around sex. There could be some kind of an incest with the mother here because there is a moon. Sorry, but I have to say it. Okay. Oh. It's also you versus you. There's also you versus you here. This is the light side, the light aspect of, of you, and then the dark aspect of you here. It's just dark. Everything is dark. Even the lighter aspect is dark, too. Yeah, somebody has some very strong um, issues around sex and should heal that. <clears throat> yep. Somebody, some of you guys are, most of you guys are celibate. So you're waiting, which is really good. Because ain't nobody, ain't really nothing out there to be honest with you. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I'm part of the celibate crew too. You ain't getting these hands. You not touching these hands, boo. No. Mm -mm. There's too much nastiness out there. If I gotta wait 50 years, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Mm -mm. There's too many nasty people out here. <clears throat> Come on, what else, spirit? There we go. Flow. Yeah, somebody period just started. <laughs> All right. Or within the next 45 minutes or it started 45 minutes ago. Um, so we got flow, shadow work. Mm, one more. Yeah, this mom mom energy or aunt energy don't like how you flow in. You all eyes on you with your beautiful and handsome self. And it's they're like sleepless. They're having lots of sleepless night. That's a woman. It's an older woman. An older woman is having sleepless nights because all eyes on you. Ain't that something? That don't make no damn sense. <clears throat> Older woman having a sleepless night over you, evading the community because she knows she in the wrong. And the intellect, no one is not dumb or they're not stupid. Like people are aware of what's going on here and it's driving this person to drink. So this person may drink themselves to death, to be honest. They may have some kind of alcohol poisoning. They may pass some alcohol poisoning. Something could be going on with their liver at this moment here. Yeah, there's some spots on the liver. It could be hepatitis um, from the liver. Hepatitis comes from liver, right? Hepatitis is it hepatitis A? Hold on, let me see. Let me, let me double check. Or I'm sorry, not hepatitis. That's a fraud in your slip, child. Somebody may have hepatitis A. That was a complete fraud in your slip. Um, I meant cirrhosis of the liver. I'm so sorry. But somebody may have, let's see, what is hepatitis A, though? Somebody may have that or may find out that they have it. Yeah, I was right. A highly contagious liver infection caused by the hepatitis A vaccine. Yeah. 
it's gonna spread quickly. Someone may have cirrhosis of the liver as well. I just keep hearing alcohol poisoning. That's all I just keep hearing. Yeah, the body, bruh. The body is taking a hit. Like, there's no soul. That body is just, just old, rickety, hollow, you know? They are so scared. They are so scared of their health. And they don't want people to see that they're changing. They don't want no one to see that they're changing, but they're changing. Yeah. Like facial wise, they're changing. They look sickly. Like they lost a lot of weight, but it's like a sickly weight. Yeah, so this older woman here is sick, but is losing weight rapidly. And you look, people like, oh wow, like what the hell? Like to the point where. You know how, you know how, see, Apple is in reverse. You know how the community could be cruel or just society could be cruel? Yes. I'll just put it in that way. Like, if people were to see this person, they would be like, wow, like, they look really bad. Like, really bad. And the reason why they look really bad, well, they got all them ailments, but stress as well. Stress is killing them it's it's literally eating them alive like i said they have a sleepless night over you what kind of shit is that sleepless night over you like what the f that don't make sense how you sure, sure. like they're literally putting their life on hold for you collective shit, I mean, that, that's, that's dedication i don't know i don't know what to call that I don't know what to call it. Person eat, sleep, and breathe you. Like right, shit weird. <laughs> oh, shit is weird. We got justice and skull. But who don't hear will feel. So who don't hear will feel. Justice is, is here for ya. Yeah. Star. That's you, collective. Which you will be celebrating. <laughs> new beginning. You're going to be celebrating new beginnings here after. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry. Ooh. 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 And ooh. I'm sorry all these cards came out. You got the lovers, the world, ten of cups in reverse. Oh, hear me out. Page of cups and the temperance in reverse, which is great in this instance here. So after all that you've been through, all of the um, dismay and the, you know, the disarray and things of that nature here, or broken home, broken family, lack of stability, um, you're going to be extremely happy with the Page of Cups. Happy news. You're going to be extremely happy. Um, new relationship and like the world, like the, you're going to feel like you can... You can have whatever you want. Like, you're going to feel like you're sitting on top of the world. Someone could have been listening to that. That's by Brandy sitting on top of the world featuring Mace. Three of Cups and then the Fool here. You're going to be celebrating not only with your, your new wife or your husband, but you're going to be celebrating with others as well, too. <clears throat> so, a new group of people, friends. Friends that's going to become family as well, too. Like, you're going to have, like, your own system, your own network of like really beautiful connections. It's going to be so dope. Like friends giving. Like a best friend group. Like you're going to have multiple best friends. Like when I tell you. It's, it's going to be so like. You're so worthy. You're so deserving of it collective. Like you're so deserving of everything. That's just coming to you. You're so deserving of it. You really are. <clears throat> is so deserving of it.
Like, you're going to have a lot of friends. Like, it was a um a little spill or reel on TikTok. It was months back. And it was a girl. Um, I think she was married. Yeah, I want to say she was married. And she didn't tell anyone that they had the baby. But they were aware that she was pregnant. So, she went around and she was calling everyone. And one thing I noticed is that when she called on the first ring they picked up that was something that i noticed and i was like wow like they you know what i mean look i picked up on little small things like that but anywho i thought that was cool and they would just facetime and they would just show the baby like, oh my god you know our niece or our nephew whatever because it was many videos started to go viral after they did that um so i saw many of many of that type of video after they went viral but anywho so they're like you know the niece and oh my niece my nephew and stuff like that and i was like wow like their village is big but they created their village because it was a melting pot of people i'm i'm telling you it was people from like asian countries there are people from european countries from the caribbean from the states like it they had a plethora of connections just from different parts of the world and i also thought that was super dope because what it what is doing or what they're allowing themselves to do is they're allowing themselves to expand and expand as well too with all this love from different various parts of the world because everyone loves differently in many different parts of the world and i just think that the that uh, the baby is so lucky or more yeah the baby but the parents as well too are very lucky that they have that type of like uh, like group roots like that's their fam like that's auntie that's tio that's tia that's tanti you know that's auntie that's uh what uh how they say down south um oh tt or t or something huh how y'all say aunts down south i think it's t or something td or something like that i think it's td t-e-e-d-i-e td i think that's it <laughs> Trini say tanti auntie uh, Philly say aunt, aunt, auntie, auntie, you know, so it just depends, but uncle, uncle, what up, um, uncle, you dog, you know, <laughs> OG, yeah, love is universal, love is universal, all right, ooh, eight of swords, that's freedom, and the tower hit, so when you left, the tower hit, yeah, you use your mind. You you use logic versus emotions. And they wanted you to be in your emotions versus your logic. But they never thought that you would use your logic because they didn't think you were smart. <laughs> so, you're the nine of cups. They didn't think you were smart enough to, I guess, break out whatever bullshit they had. I don't know. I ain't trying to feed today bullshit, but... You get my drift. Yeah, it's already happened. They're real sick. They're really sick. You could, not to sound brash like this, but this mothery, mother figure, motherfucker figure could be passing by Christmas or so. So, yeah, we got transcend. Yeah, so you may receive a call that you, if, if of course, if your mother is still living and you don't have a conversation, you're not talking to her, I'm talking to you, okay? Um, you may receive a call that your mom has passed by like Christmas or so. Okay. Yeah. Listen. Uh, uh, resurrection in reverse in silence. I'm sorry for it to be so crass like that, but I, I mean, I don't give a fuck. So, justice. Life goes on. <clears throat> life goes on. That's how I look at it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Life goes on. Tupac singing this uh, rap that song, Life Goes On. All right, let's see what else. <clears throat> we have Star Seed. Yeah, for coming up against the Star Seed here, no, no restoration. So there'll be no making up, no getting back together. Stability is in reverse. No, none of that. And this person don't have any protection. They're like really fastly deteriorating in health. Well, they sacrificed themselves. <laughs> so, hey, they sacrificed themselves when they try to come up against you. 
I guess they thought it was some play play or something. I don't know, child. You know, they said we don't know nothing. So, you know, sure. they said we don't know nothing. So, creation is in reverse. <clears throat> they can't create a motherfucking thing. Yep, somebody got to prepare for a funeral. Like I told you, it's going to be a domino effect. Okay. All right. Okay. It's going to be a domino effect. Oh, my God. Did you? Yeah, I heard. And what do you want us to do about it? That's their karma. Yep, that is their karma. That is their fucking karma. Ain't nothing that we can do about it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they were a horrible person. So, they were horrible. So, new opportunities is in reverse. They have no new opportunity. Look at the rabbit. I'm just going to put it upright so you can see. The rabbit can't even run fast. Join it in reverse. Healing. So... Trust in the invisible, and that's what you did. You healed or are healing, and you're trusting in the invisible. You surrender it. You let it go. And karma is, yeah, safety. Safety. The eel in the iris. This is so This is so symbolic. Like, all right, y'all know eels, right? They say an eel has a very high voltage of wattage, like if you were to touch it. I don't know nothing but eels. This is what I learned from Discovery, the Discovery Channel, okay? National Geographic, all right? And um, every eel is not the same, of course. But let's just hypothetically think that this was the, the one of the most strongest, more most electrifying eel you've ever witnessed in your life, meaning you, collective, right? But you are this eel and you're protected. So you may have a hard exterior but your insides are like really soft like you have a heart of gold like flower in that kind of way so it's like you are protected your outer is protected and your inner is protected your inner is protected from outsiders so this is why when people try to people try to try you they get hypothetically like electrocuted in that way <laughs> and that's what they're feeling they're feeling that the safety you are safe because you're trusting in the in, in the invisible, which is spirit, universe, however, etc. And you're allowing yourself to heal, which is allowing the universe to shield you in a way where that if someone was to touch you, it gets sent right gets sent right back. It's like a barbed wire or electric fence. You don't dare touch it, but if you attempt to touch it, what you think gonna happen? That's what I feel like spirit has you on in this moment, like so electrifying that no one can come near you with no weird shit like they gotta be on the up and up and if they can't meet you where you at they can't come nowhere near you damn boundaries <laughs> yes dang i ain't even yes i be loving the way these cars be speaking man yes because of the boundaries here even the porcupine and the anemone, an anemone is a um is a sea aquatic creature, and it shocks, it stings. It's like a stingray or not a stingray. It's like a um a jellyfish, and then you got porcupine with those quills on its back. Yeah, like you not get back. They can't get past you, bruh. They cannot get past you. No matter how they try, they cannot get, like, your barrier is so freaking protected. It's like ironclad fist protected. Nobody is penetrating through this, bruh. And even if they try, they're going to get an upheaval of karma, negative karma. You don't see that vulture? Huh. Huh. Child. Mm, mm, mm. And that's what's happening. That's exactly what's happening. They're going through a traumatic upheaval that they don't know how to take. Because they're literally being exiled from the community. They are not only evading the community, the community is exiling them. So they can't even come back even if they wanted to. 
stagnation is in reverse. You're no longer stag stagnated or anticipation. They were anticipating or the community is now anticipating that you are no longer stagnant. So you do have people in the community that are actually rooting for you. People that are now aware as to what has transpired, what has happened to you here. They are now rooting for you. They are. You won't have to take that, how that resonates or, you know, how that makes you feel. You want to have to, you know, kind of sit with that energy. I'm just a messenger. All right. So, yeah, like I said, rejection. Some of you guys may reject that notion and that is completely fine. Okay. Just don't come over here with that stank, dank energy. All right. Because I'm a block here. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Okay. Thank you. Anger. Death and stop. Man. <laughs> it's like somebody going to die angry from being rejected. That's another way you could spin it. And they're going to be pain. It's going to be painful. God damn. It's not only you going to be angry. You're going to be in pain. Now, what kind of shit is that? That is not. I don't want to pass like that. Uh-uh. Put me in my bed in my 100s. I said in my 100s. Let me pass peacefully in my sleep. Thank you. Okay. Dang, that person going to have a horrible transition. Mm, that's crazy. I got other decks too. I got um, y'all so good to me. Y'all are so great to me. Let me see what else we got here. the hell are you waiting for get that shit done hmm. if you're waiting for a sign well here it fuck it is <laughs> so that's for someone in the collective better get it together boo time waits for no one Okay, time for energy clearing. So someone needs to cleanse their energy. Okay, okay. Your throat chakra as well. You may not have been exercising your throat chakra. You may have been quiet. You may, you know, been silent. Exercise because it's blue. So blue chakra. Or what someone what someone is saying is a lot of shit because it is poop around there. It's a lot of shit with them flies too. It's a lot of shit. So, de drag a load of dense shit. <laughs> Literally. Um, fancy fat fucker. What? What the fuck? Well, it says get healthy. So, like I said, someone is sick. <laughs> I said that. Or someone could be losing their voice or could be losing the ability to speak. I'm also hearing someone is losing the privilege to speak. I don't know how that resonates. Release guilt. Someone is guilty for what they have done to you here. Okay, I'm going to spin it another way, Collective. You need to release this guilt that you have. Some of you guys have a guilt where you feel like it's your fault. It's not your fault. It's not. And you can't keep going through life thinking that it is when it's not. Okay? Um, so eventually you're going to have to release this because if not, it can actually make you physically sick. Okay. Oh, 48 minutes. New beginnings are needed. Dickweed death. New beginnings are, look. And look at the sun shining at the top right there. Is that his heart? No, that's blood. That shit is razor sharp. Look at the scythe. Look at the rough edges of it. And look at the number 11. This is a port, man. They've been opening up 
death portals and dumb shit. Like, they don't stand a chance. They do not stand a chance against the universe's wrath. They just don't. Sorry, but not sorry. They just don't. Like, what would make you do some dumb shit like that? It's just so fucking irresponsible. Yeah, whatever they put out is what they, they get back. And that's what's being mirrored. And they can't take this shit. It's reciprocity, though. They can't take it. They can't take that shit. They can't take that. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, try to tell you. Try. We want you. You said we didn't know what we were talking about, so. We don't care, karmics. Somebody has an Xbox, V-Bucks. Somebody likes to buy V-Bucks or you just bought V-Bucks for kids. What's that? Uh, Roblox. Somebody's from Northern Virginia. Someone's from Virginia. Someone's from Washington State. Someone loves the Seahawks. Someone is from Southern Opalaka. That's just what I saw. Just stick with me. I heard South Opalaka. That's what I heard. Okay. Somebody likes the Red Sox. Somebody has a venereal disease, which is, you know, and I heard clear as day, HIV. I heard that clear as day. Um, someone lives in New Jersey. Someone's name is John. Someone loves Sean John, Sean John, whatever. Malibu. Someone's name is Genevieve with a J. Someone's learning English as a second language. Someone's pay has been docked. Someone's getting ready to lose their job. Someone is going south for the winter or they're moving south by winter. I heard baby daddy. I heard baby daddy moving down south by winter. Oh. I can't say that part. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't say that part. Well, just just know that uh, whatever they're thinking of doing is not gonna work. So I'll just put it in that way. Um, dig. Someone name could be dig digs d i g g s. I'm hearing paradiso, paradise. Party, pardon, eggs, eggs over easy. I'm hearing Suki. Someone name is Sue, S-O-O, -O, or Sue Young. PD is period, okay? Someone got their period. Or police department. You may have went to the police department over a period or something. Something of blood in the police department. Someone's going to make a confession. Oh, Lord, child. About some kind of blood in the police department. Let me get out of that. Let me get my ass out of that. Yeah. Not today. I got a headache one time. That might be a murder mystery, though, for real. And I do got my murder cards that I have not been using. So, we got Sagittarius. Saturn and the 10th house. I'm just doing two of these. That's it. That's all. Capricorn, Mercury, first house. Okay. So we got Cancer. We have Capricorn. We have Capricorn. Taurus. <clears throat> I'll do four more. Dang, Capricorn. Virgo. Damn. Capricorn. The f Cancer. Let me do two more. God damn. Pisces. Libra. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.